Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm gonna walk through creating an Alexa skill using AWS CodeStar. And I have not actually done this before. I've um, used CodeStar and I've set up uh, Alexa skills, but I have not done the two together. So I'm gonna walk through this for the first time and uh, we'll see what we get. So I'm logged into the AWS um, Management Council and I'm in the CodeStar area. So if you log into your uh, AWS console and go find code star, you'll uh, go star right here. That'll take you to this area here and you go start a project and it is, let's see, it is prompting, uh, okay, it needs to create a, an IAM role. So yeah, we'll let it do that. And then in here we've got, um, project templates that we can start with and we'll see an Alexa skill. Okay, so these these are the um, these are the blueprints it looks like. So we'll I'm gonna use the facts skill which is uh, I believe space facts. So we'll call it space facts and which repository do we want to use so we can use code commit which is uh, amazon's or aws um, the git service or github and i've got i've got codestar connected to my github account i think so i'm going to try github here so connect with github okay all right so that is connected and let me see so we'll use my uh, my personal GitHub account, private repository. That all looks fine. Go next, and then we have a let's see, review details. All looks good here. So we'll create the project. Um, now this is the uh, okay. That's the URL to the repository. I'll copy that. Uh, Pretty sure that's all right. So, hmm. Let's see, setting up project. This can take a few minutes. All right, so we'll let that happen, and um, I'm going to go over here into Adam and clone the repository while we're waiting on that. So. Yeah, so this is this is a um, a lambda blueprint that is um, space facts. All right, so that makes sense. This is kind of a ready to go. If you haven't used this before, this is sort of a ready to go um, lambda function that uh, that you can use as a, a skill service backend. And so we'll. Um, we'll modify this and, and post the uh, push the changes back out to um, to GitHub and see what we get. Let's see what we change here. What does it say when you open this skill? Well, let's first just see if it works. Get it set up. Um, so it looks like it's still deploying here. Not sure how long that takes, but. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause and come back and we'll see how we'll see how long this takes. Okay, so it looks like everything finished up. I guess it took uh, about three minutes, 19, 21, 22. Yeah, roughly three minutes ish. And um, let's see here. Um, all right, so I've got my ARN here for the, um, the Lambda function. So I'm guessing that, yeah, I can just use this to set up my Alexa skill. So 
yeah, let's set up the trigger. So that's all good. Now I'm going to go into the developer console and uh, the uh, set up the skill side and, and see uh, see if I can make it all work. So uh, now I'm in developer.amazon.com and I'm going to use the uh, the new console here. It's still in beta, but we'll uh, give it a try. Um, create a skill. We'll call this space facts. That is the template or the blueprint that we're using. And custom, custom skill. Uh, okay. So the interaction model. So I need the interaction model for the the facts skill, which is in their GitHub repo, I think. Yeah, this skill, OJS facts. And need this interaction model here. I'm going to just copy the raw JSON so I don't need to. Um, type it all in manually and over here in the in the editor here there's a JSON editor so I can just paste it right in here I think and save that which seems to have worked and build okay well that's building I'm going to go back and grab that ARN again because I think I just copy over it and let's see okay so we don't need any of those the audio player or display interfaces for the fax skill the endpoint yes we do need so we're going to use a AWS Lambda ARN which is what code star created for us. I'm going to just paste that in. And now that the model's done building, I can save the endpoint. And let's see, we don't need account linking. We don't need permissions. No, we need tests. That's what we need here. So now it should um, it should be ready to test, I think. So uh, enable test and then um, open space facts. Here's your fact. Saturn radiates two and a half times more energy into space than it receives from the sun. Okay, so that's great. So it's working now. Let's um let's see if we can make a change and then commit the change to the GitHub repo and then have uh, CodeStar publish that change for us. So um, let me open this up in GitHub here and um, copy this. Go back. Oh I, yeah, I already I already did this. So I don't need to clone it. I did this earlier. Um, Let's make a change though in here and see how long it takes to uh, for the pipeline to push the change out. Uh, what can we change? Um, let's say here's your fact, I think, right? Back over here. Here's your fact. So we'll change this to say here's a cool fact. Um, where is that? Here's a cool fact. Save that. Um, commit the change in Git. Small change. And then push this out. 
to the Git repo. Okay, so now I've pushed my change out to GitHub. Now I should see that in CodeStar, I believe. So there's the initial commit. If I refresh this, and here's my, my change commit here. And what I need to do at this point is release those changes. So I'm gonna go release here and pause again because this is probably gonna take a few minutes as my guess to push out, but we'll see. So I'm gonna release the changes, which should push out that little change that I made. And uh, I'll pause and then we'll come back after this is all pushed out. Okay, so everything seems to have finished up now. That took a little bit longer. So um, that took, let me see, 233, 238. So that took roughly five minutes. And um, now our change should be pushed out. So let's, um, let's go test and see. So remember, we just made that small change to uh, the code. So now, rather than saying, here's your fact, it should say, here's your cool fact. So let's test it. Here's a cool fact. A year on Mercury is just 88 days long. Okay, so it all um, it, it all works. So that's setting up continuous deployment for an Alexa skill. It's really um, just for the Lambda function. I, I'm not quite sure if you would be able to also um, set this up. I'm, I'm sure you would, I haven't done it. I need to probably dig into that a little bit more, but um, changes to the interaction model and uh, the stuff that you can do like in the, Alex, uh, the Ask CLI. Um, but I'm going to dig into that a little bit more because I like the idea of uh, continuous build and continuous deployment for Alexa skills, especially when you're working with multiple developers. But hopefully um, that was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those and I'll do my best to answer those and answer them as quickly as possible. If you haven't subscribed to the Dabble Lab channel, please do so. And thanks so much.